I pray that the Lord will use all these little nuggets, all this little information that you get to build you up, to prepare you, to get you ready for a successful Christian, Christ-centered marriage. Don't forget that we also have um, a Facebook group, Facebook page called the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. And do well to follow us on Instagram under the name DLBC Singles. You'll see all the information in the description below. So do well to follow us on all these channels. Bring your questions. Feel free to comment. If you want to talk about something personal, feel free to send us a message on Facebook Messenger on the pages group or to any of the admins we are very happy and very willing to serve we want to help you to achieve a christian marriage a christian home that's our main desire and we pray that the lord will help us and give us an answer of peace without further ado we'll go straight to the reason for this uh, video today, uh, we're talking about seven ways to hear from God. What are the seven ways to hear from God? Hearing God is very important in every aspect and any aspect of your life. Every day you want to hear from God and there are different ways through which God can speak to you. One of the ways God speaks to you is through his word. Thy word have I hid in my heart. So the word of God in your heart, the word of God that you read, the word of God that you have memorized, and all of the word of God in its totality. It's another way through which God speaks to you. Another way to hear from God. Number two, the first one is the word of God. Number two is at the feet of the Lord, at the feet of Jesus. In prayer, at the place of prayer, that is where God speaks to us. Sometimes when we're praying, Many times we're not praying. The Lord speaks to us. Sometimes we don't understand. So you have to work on yourself to listen so that when the Lord is speaking, you can hear him clearly. So God speaks to us in diverse ways. The, word, the, the, the place of prayer is very important. When you pray to God, pray with an open mind. God definitely speaks to you. Ask the Lord to help you to hear him when you're talking to him and when you talk when you have the feeling that you need to wait to listen as you're praying and listening god will speak to you not only that number three we also get to hear from god through vision some people god speaks to them through visions through dreams in the night time when they are sleeping through visions through dreams through a trance and different other ways god speaks to them through that means God gives them a dream about who they're going to marry. God gives them a dream about what they're going to be in life. God gives them a dream about who they're going to meet in another day, in a few days' time. God gives them a dream of something that's going to happen in their family, to their siblings, to their loved ones. That's how God speaks to them. Other people receive an audible voice. They hear God clearly. God speaks to them through an audible voice. They hear it clearly, just like God spoke to Moses. That's another way God speaks to us. Number five is deep impression. You have a very strong impression. Each time you're praying, you only, always, always have this leading, this strong leading, feeling to do something, strong feeling to marry this person. That's a very deep impression that you cannot shake away. You can't shake it away. It's just there. It's a deep impression. Every time is the same impression. That's another way God goes, God speaks to us. Another way God speaks to us, number six, is through conversations with people. That's another way God speaks to us. God speaks to us through conversation with people. He talks to people and somehow, somewhere, God drops something through that person's word. And just in the midst of the conversation, you get a message for you through there. That's another way God speaks to us. Also, number seven, finally, we're not going to allow this video to go too long. Number seven and not the last because there are other ways people get to hear from God. But because we're stopping at seven points, the number seven is through leaders in the church sometimes. During the message in church, you could hear God speak to us. God can speak to you through the message. 
on Sunday at any program through a message on YouTube, through leaders in the church, pastors, God can speak to you. I pray that the Lord helps you to have an attentive ears, to listen when God is speaking to you, and you wouldn't miss it when God is telling you something. God bless you, and may God give us an answer of peace. Remember to share this video, subscribe, feel free to join the Dipala Bible Church Singles Group, the Dipala Bible Church Singles Page, the DLBC Singles on Instagram, and the Lord bless you. I will keep praying for you, and I will hear good news concerning you. Thank you, and God bless you.